Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video, we are going to be talking about the best practices when working in IT. Okay, so working in IT isn't just about knowing stuff, knowing and memorizing what the OSI model is, knowing all of the standards and protocols out there. It's not about just knowledge and being a know-it-all. And it's also not just fixing and troubleshooting issues, but also being proactive and being dependable and being a team player. Because at the end of the day, management and customer only cares about the results. They're not going to understand all of the back end that we are doing. So even if you know everything or you think you know everything and you think that you're smart and all of that, if you can't get anything done or you can't work with other people, then I don't think you're going to be successful in this field. And if you're interested in today's video, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started. Best practice. Never walk away until you verify it's working. Okay, so I've installed Adobe Premiere and Media Encoder on the user's computer. So now I can close the ticket. Hello, Adobe is installed and should be all set. This is bad practice. Always confirm with the user that the issue is resolved. If not, it could come back as a repeat ticket and reduce trust in your work. Okay, so just powered on this printer. All right, I think it's all set, it's installed. This is bad practice because when you just install the new hardware or software, you should always test if it's working properly first before walking away. They don't always work as expected, so testing first is the best practice. Okay, I think I've uploaded all of the employee photos and the display monitor downstairs. I think I'm all set go home now this is also bad practice because she didn't verify if the photos look okay in the display monitor just because they were uploaded okay so this is one of the first lessons i've learned from my previous boss in my first it job that i always keep in mind even up to date so always confirm that the issue is resolved or that is working for the user because sometimes even if we install the program if they don't have a login it will not work for them the user will just think that it's not working or it's broken so unless you've seen that it's working or you have verified that it is working don't walk away from an issue or a ticket hi so i have installed adobe premiere on your laptop can you please try to log in and make sure that it works for you okay so now that it's installed let's do a test print and make sure that it is working best practice never over promise and under deliver okay yes i'm doing the update right now and it should be quick it should be done in 10 minutes yeah over promising is saying you can do something faster better or more completely than what is realistic and under delivering is failing to meet that promise and as a result, the user might be upset, lose trust in you or your department, and they might complain to your manager. Yeah, I'm actually doing the update right now, and it might take 30 minutes the most, but if it takes longer, I'll let you know, okay? I'll keep you posted. It's actually better to under-promise and over-deliver. It's better to say this might take until tomorrow and finish it today than to say I'll have it done in 10 minutes and still be working on it an hour later. Best practice. Always ask for permission before rebooting a system if possible. Oh, the file server needs to install the updates. Okay, I'll reboot it now. Hello. Oh, she's not here. I might as well reboot her laptop while she's on a lunch break. So it's done when she's back. Okay. So this is bad practice because users may have unsaved work or be in the middle of something critical. Gaining consent helps avoid data loss and frustration. Okay, so it's just rule of thumb to always ask for permission when you're rebooting, especially critical servers, especially if you don't know what's running in them. Just make sure to ask your team if it's okay to reboot this at this time. It's really best practice to give everyone a heads up just in case they're working on the server as well. So would it be okay to restart your system now or do you need to save anything before I do it? 
Okay, thank you so much. Best practice. Always communicate critical issues or failures to your team. Actually, this new photo system is pretty good compared to the old one that we were using. Okay, all right, it's Friday and I'm on vacation all of next week and I can't wait. Yes, there was a change with the multicast address. Yes, the networking team made a change and we are currently having an outage in here. Mm hmm. Transparency ensures smoother collaboration. It avoids duplicate troubleshooting and helps everyone stay aligned during outages or projects. Okay, um, hello team. Unfortunately, the new photo system isn't working well and it shows pixelated photos. I will be on vacation starting next week so I won't be able to look into this. This is what I've done so far and this is how you can upload the pictures thank you so much and let me know how it goes when i'm back from vacation okay i will email my team first while i'm on hold hi team there has been an issue with the multicast changes so i'm on the phone with the networking department to resolve the issue if you get tickets about networking issues today, you can ignore or you can merge it with this ticket that is currently open. Best practice. Document what you did and why. Okay, so there's a new ticket here. Let me respond. Hi, I can assist. What time will you be available? Oh. Someone's already working on this. This is annoying. I can't find anything about the Premiere audio settings in here. Good documentation saves time for others or for your future self, and you can reference it later on for recurring problems. Documentation is really important and it's also part of our responsibility in IT. So IT isn't just about fixing the issue, closing the ticket. You should also know how to document, especially if it's a new issue or a unique issue. And we also have to document a lot of things like the settings, the templates that we use and the common issues. And it really saves time for you and the whole team, especially in the future, you can reference it. Okay, so we have a new setting for the Adobe Premiere. I'm going to document it just in case we have to deal with this again. Best practice. Use friendly, clear language and avoid jargon. Yes, I figured out the issue. You're connected to the wrong VLAN. You should be on VLAN 10 instead of VLAN 50. That's why your phone can't connect. So I just need to go to the switch and change it to the right VLAN. Yes, and your phone doesn't need a power cable because it runs on PoE. That's why it should be on yeah, the correct VLAN, yes. Many users are not technical. That's why communication should be helpful and not intimidating. Okay, so as much as possible, if we are talking to non-technical users, we have to avoid jargon because sometimes it makes them more confused and panic, which doesn't help with troubleshooting at all. If you are just throwing some technical words onto them, they are not going to understand and they're going to be more pissed. But if the users are technical and you know they can understand, especially if you're talking to your fellow engineers, I think it's just appropriate to use jargons. Hello. Yes, so I figured out what's wrong and there's a wrong setting on your phone and if I change that, your phone should be connected. Yes, and, and there's no need for a power cable once I change the setting, it should be all set. Okay, thank you. Best practice. Stay calm and empathetic, especially when users are upset. You know, this wouldn't be happening if you just remember your password. It's not that hard. You also need emotional intelligence to de-escalate stressful situations. 
empathy is also one thing that we need to have especially when you're dealing with customers and also your co-workers if you're not dealing with the end users being able to understand listen and be patient with people is really important in our job because we are not just working with tech but we are working with people who are going to use the tech yes yeah i know it's frustrating when you have to change your password into a new one and you forget it but the good thing is that we can reset it and unlock your account best practice Keep users updated on ticket status, especially for long fixes. A bad practice example is a ticket with no update for 3 days. Silence is frustrating for the users. Regular updates reduces anxiety and repeat follow-ups. So if the issue is taking a long time to fix, it's really important to keep the users updated about the status and what the ETA could be. Even if there is no response or you are still waiting on something, you can let them know that this is what's happening, you are still waiting, that's why you can do this. It's really important to communicate with the users or your coworkers. And I always say that it's better to over communicate than not communicate at all. Hello. We are still waiting for the vendor response, but I'll follow up with you by 3 p.m. today. So that would be it for today's video. If you have more best practices to share, please comment it down below. And I hope that you learned something from this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.